Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hello, Cheryl Nelson. Hello, how are you, Valder? I'm so wonderful. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. It's the perfect time, Cheryl, for us to talk about weather and natural disaster preparedness. You're an expert in that area, so let's talk about hurricane preparedness. Because, you know, across the U.S., starting from Texas all the way up to New York, the weather is very severe. Yes, absolutely. And I partnered with Cummins this year to make sure that you're well prepared for hurricane season. Well, there's a lot of things that we should know and need to know. Give us a few of those so my audience can feel that they can enact these things in their preparedness. The main thing is you got to be prepared. You can't think that it won't happen to you. I mean, think back to 2018 with what happened with Hurricane Michael, for example. It devastated the Florida panhandle. Over a million people lost power. And Hurricane Florence, we had historic flooding in the Carolinas, even in areas that were not in a flood zone. So Cummins did a survey, and they asked people who have been through hurricanes and power outages how prepared they felt. 75% of them said they wish they were more prepared with the basics, and 67% said they wish they'd had a source of backup power. That is correct. So what do we need to have on hand, and what is that source of backup power? Yeah, that's a great question. Backup power is so important because most of us are okay without power for a couple hours. But when it's longer than that, days, weeks, or longer, it can get really expensive and it can disrupt your life. So think about having a home standby generator. I recommend the Cummins Quiet Connect. What's great about this is it gives you peace of mind. And yes, you can have one at your house. It's installed by a professional and it hooks up directly to your natural gas line or your propane tank. It turns on automatically the moment power goes out and it stays on for that duration of the outage. Yes, it can power your entire home as well. So you're going to have air conditioning, heat, your refrigerator with food. No matter what you need, you're not going to have that life interruption. That's really important to help your family feel safe and normal. Oh, absolutely. And some other things you want to make sure you do with them is you talk and you have that family communicated plan. Find out if you live in a flood zone, if you need flood insurance. And even if you don't live in a flood zone, you might still need it. So think about that. There's a 30 day wait period for that policy to take effect. Also, you want to have a disaster preparedness kit at home and in your vehicle. And some items to include in that bottled water, for example, at least a gallon per person for at least three days. Also, non-perishable foods, you want to have a first aid kit, prescription medications, at least a two-week supply, flashlights and batteries, a waterproof bag with important documents like your passport, keep that on a flash drive as well, a NOAA weather radio, cash and single dollar bills, also a paper map because GPS might not work, have a blanket too, a medical ID bracelet for those seniors, and the kids, you're going to need something like a stuffed animal and some games to make them feel safe and secure. And don't forget about your furry friends, our pets, got to make sure you have everything you need for them, including food and a picture of you and your pet together to prove ownership in case you're separated. You gave us some great information on being prepared. Let me ask you this. Most people think, and you hit up on it, we think we have flood insurance when we buy homeowner's insurance. Mm. Why is that? Yeah, flood insurance is actually totally separate. So it's sold by FEMA. So what you have to do is talk to your insurance agent about that, and they can help you set that up. But that is a totally different policy. Flood insurance is not included in homeowners. So we can stop acting like we have flood insurance. Right. That's really, I wanted to hear you say that. Yeah, unless you already have it as a separate policy. But if you don't, look into it. Because, again, even if you're not in a flood zone, like we saw with Florence and the Carolinas, so many people flooded. So look into that just in case. These are great things that we can do. I call it taking control of your life. Mm -hmm. Is there a place online to help my audience just in case they don't remember all the things that you gave them? Yeah, there's a lot to write down, so make sure you visit Cummins.com slash Hurricane Prep. And generators are so nationwide for Cummins? Oh, yeah, for sure. I thank you so very much, Cheryl Nelson. They said you were a preparedness expert, and you are. Oh, thank you. Thanks for being my guest on the Velda BB Show. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. 
I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.